Okay, so just as I promised guys, we're going to be covering every single step of the B20 Civic Speedwino conversion. So first step, today we're going to prepare a harness, patch harness of some sort, to get the, speed, the EK Civic working on the Speedwino. So stay tuned guys. So here is the mountain of stuff which we're going to be using to make this harness. Um, we're going to make it plug and play. So what we have here is a OBD2A to OBD1 jumper. You can get this off eBay for about 15 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. Um, this one is already chopped up because I already began cutting it up to get the wires I need. And those I don't use, I'm just going to be removing them. So this essential will just be plugging into the stock harness and it'll be going straight to the speedway now. You're gonna need some wire. Um, I have a, a bundle here, well, a couple bundles of 22 gauge wire. You can get this off eBay for a few bucks. Can't recall how much I paid for it. Um, you're gonna need the pliers, solder, soldering iron, and some heat shrink tubing. Um, this was originally going to be an NO2C install, but however, they <laughs> The V0.3, which I installed on my car in a previous video last week, I'm going to be using that on this car instead. And I'm going to go, go back to the NO2C. So this is the NO2C. I might just whip up another harness quickly for for it. Um, reason being, because uh, of my harness um, and what I already did to my car initially, I figured the NO2C would be a better project for my car, better speedwino for my car. So, and I think I intend on tinkering with the B20 a bit. So I like the screw terminals for the ease of tampering. So long story short, I'm going to use the NO2C on my car. Hopefully this is the last time I'm going to be changing ECUs. Well, I always say this is the last time, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, so NO2C on my car, the V0.3 will be going on the B20 Civic. All right, some more progress. So we got the V0.3 out of my car. Still left the harness. So to do this, you would pretty much identify which of the pins you'll be using for your harness. <coughs> I covered this in the thread which I linked in a previous video. So from here, you go here, you go here. Again, I, um, I don't think I'll cover which pins exactly you use in this video. You do a little twist in and then you terminate right here. You can use a tie strap or something to hold everything in place to keep it very neat. Um, the wires are also labeled and this is labeled. So what we'll be doing will basically just be joining hair to hair and that should just about do it. Okay. And we have this thus far. Everything is connected, needs to be heat shrinked and uh, extra plugs chopped off and that's about it maybe for some loom on there and awesome tape and that pretty much will wrap it up anyways we'll pick up with some progress and the last shot we have the somewhat completed patch harness for the obd2a to speed in v0.3 um, i left this plug on because i intend on doing some experimenting Basically, I'll be starting off with the basic distributor trigger settings, get the car rolling, and then I'm going to switch to true sequential, um, mainly as an experiment. Um, what else? Yeah, this green wire will go to the wideband O2 sensor output. So if you're using a Innovate, AEM, whatever, this will go to the output. I left it really long because sometimes you don't have a permanent, well, I don't think, well, I know the Honda does not have a wideband controller installed, so I'm going to be using mine to tune it, and we're going to use that, so it's going to be temporary. Um, I think that's about it. In the end, I'm going to throw some loom after I'm done messing about with it, and I guess, yeah, that should wrap it up. Um, if you made it through the end, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking it out. Like always, like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow. And stay tuned for the next installment of the 
Honda B20 Speedo installation. Till next time, guys, stay safe.